Change the password. Let's click security. And here we go. So as you can see, guys, the current username is Eduardo, which is also um, in this dashboard at the top. Hi, Eduardo. This one. So this is the same. Let us try to click validate. Please input the current password. So let's type the wrong one. Click validate. Old password is incorrect. So let's type the correct. One, two, three. That's the sample. And validate. Please enter your new password. Let's type one, two, three, four, five. Next, please confirm your new password. Let's type the wrong one. Okay, that one. Validate. Confirm password and new password does not match. So let's try type the correct. One, two, three, four, five. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Click validate. Successfully change. How to do this? Please watch this video until the end and please don't forget to subscribe. Let us create first a form. Form design. And let's put text box. Let's copy paste. Okay, that one. Okay. Current user. This one is the old password. This one is the new password. And also the confirm password. Let's put also current user. This one is the old pass or old password. This one new pass for new password and also the confirm password. Confirm pass. Okay. And let's put also a command button spot validate another one for cancel okay and let's change the format yes and then the record selector no because there's no rec no records to select navigation no neither okay so now let us start to make a code let us remember this is the old password old pass new pass and then the confirm pass now let's go to on click event and code builder okay this one so let's start with the nf because i always forget the nf if me that old pass is equals to null or to make it sure is null me that old pass then what will happen there's a message message box please enter the current password this one then BB information the title is old password required and then after that one the focus or the cursor will go back in this field old pass so me that old pass 
that set focus. Okay, let us try. When we click, please enter the current password. If we input, okay, nothing's happened. So let us continue the coding. So let us create a validation uh, message. If the old password is correct, then go ahead. If the old password is wrong, then um, there's a error message. So let's type um, dim op or old password as string. Then op equals let us try to de look up. Let us look up the password. Let us type password. Then, by the way, this one password. And then the next parameter is the domain or the name of the query or name of the table, which is the user account. So, user account and the criteria our criteria is the this one current user or username so this one user name equals and a single quotation in double quote and me that current user that value and double quote, single quote, double quote, and then in close parenthesis. So this one. So this is our basis. This is our criteria. So next, as if op greater than and less than, meaning to say they are not equal, me that old password, then message box. is incorrect in b b critical i'll choose this one denied okay and then the focus will go back to old password me that old pass that set focus okay let us try to put the correct use uh, correct password this one I'll username 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 let us put Eduardo so now let us try to validate old password is in correct so now let us try to put here the correct password which is this one one two three four five so one two three four five when we click validate nothing's happened meaning to say this is okay so now let us try to continue. Is null me that new pass? Then there's a message again. Please enter your new password. Okay, and then BB information and new password let's put new password okay that one and then the cursor me that new pass that set focus so now let's try validate please enter your new password and in the cursor will go back here new password so let us continue Again, else if, else if is null again, me that confirm password, then message box again, please enter your confirm password, bb information, and Con permission required and then the cursor made that 
confirm pass that set focus okay let's try please enter your, your new password if we type one two three please enter your confirm password if we type one two three four nothing's happened so let us make a validation for this else if me that new password is greater and less than meaning to see they are not equal me that confirm pass then what will happen there's a message the message is the confirm or the new password and the confirm password does not match let's put this one baby critical and it's put denied okay and then let's clear me that new and then me that confirm pass equals this one and in the set focus focus to new pass okay so let us try the new password and the confirm password does not match again one two three one two one three one two three the new password and the confirm password does not match and then when we click it so it is clear so let us type the correct one one two three and then one two three also validate so meaning to see it's okay so now if it is okay let us continue the coding else so if it is okay let us run the query which is the update password this one okay if you don't know how to make an update password better to subscribe this channel if you have not yet subscribed because i will create or i will show you on how to create an update query so let's close that one so next is document or document dosmd open query the name of the query is update password Okay, and then there's a message. The message is success fully changed. And then baby information and congrats. And me that old pass. And then me that new pass equals it in me that confirm pass equals that's it so now let's continue let's click this one microsoft Access cannot find the update okay wrong spelling okay that one save save also let us continue when we click validate confirm password new password okay let us try to change first okay we have to change this one don't worry about this guys all you have to do is to click 
uh, clear that one first the password you have to click this one and then click this and then this form loaded form and then the form one and let's uh, click the confirm pass okay and that's it okay next this one the criteria the criteria is the um, username so delete let's click this one loaded it form the username current user this one and okay so let's close that one okay so now this one eduardo the current user the password is one two three four five if we click validate successfully change okay so let us try to refresh okay the password of eduardo is one two three so now let us change this to one two three four five six seven eight nineteen okay old password one two three the new password is one two three four five six seven eight nine that's it only and then one two three four five six seven eight nine when we click validate successfully change and as you can see guys it's updated so that's all and by the way if you want to have a copy of this sample i will attach the link below the description you can download this for free and please don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed for more videos that's all thank you and see you to my next video